Hey everybody, Guitars and Synths. I'm gonna show you the easiest way I know to record your modular without a computer. So what I have here is my little 4U pellet case. I have my Alcorncer sequencer programmed in. I have a Endorphins Queen of Pentacles, and I have a trigger going from the Eloquencer to each of the drum voices on my Queen of Pentacles. And then I have a uh, chainsaw, uh, voice module going into my dual dagger stereo filter. So both the chainsaw and the dual dagger are stereo. And then the outputs of these are going into my stereo uh, mixer, Bafaco ST mix, which is wonderful. So <clears throat> everything's in stereo. And then I have the output uh, left and right of my ST mix going into a splitter cable. So I have a mono, dual mono, to single stereo uh, splitter cable. These are um, 3.5 millimeter uh, mono cables from the mixer, and this is a single stereo 3.5 millimeter. I bought this off Amazon, it was really cheap. It was it was like eight bucks for, for two of these cables. Um, 1010 Music sells one, but it's more expensive and um, it'd probably be a longer wait. Um, I think this is a really great, this is the easiest mixer recorder I know to use. Um, so what you can do is you can see the levels. <clears throat> what I do is I go into file on my project and I create a template called jam test. So you can also do, so I have this jam test created, this file is loaded. I go into file, you can go save as template. Uh, and then um, what I usually do is I, I just do uh, space, uh, record, oops, I cannot type today. So uh, record modular is gonna be my template name. So then that way if I'm recording a modular, I don't have to worry, everything's set up correctly, I go enter. So then you can do that and then you can just load that in, it's loaded in already. And then once I'm in that, I go to track you have to go to press this record to arm the recording of the track you want to record. You can see it's selected here in red um, and both outputs of my mixer from your rack are in it. So you can see the levels are even, which is good. If I increase the level on one of them, you'll see it go up and decrease this one, you'll see it go down. So you can see the differences, right? So one is a higher level than the other. But if I keep them the same, they'll be balanced out. So then you, you want to reduce clipping. You can see the red is clipping. So this is really useful. And then when I turn, and then um, the output is going into my OB4, which I use for my portable monitor. So I don't have to worry about hooking up cables. And, and this is really cool. You can also record uh, modular to it as well through the looping function, but we're not going to do that today. So you can hear it in the record. You would simply, um, you know, set up this. I'm not actually going to load a project I have saved. So I'll hold this down. So I'm going to go to my this on a uh, load. I'm going to pick B. I'm going to go no. I don't want to do that. So you can hold this a quarter down. So I'm going to pick A2. I'm going to go load. I'm going to go yes. So then I'm actually going to go back to the main function. So if I get out of this, we can change some of these. So you can see it's uh, nicely laid out. I can change my settings on my modular. So, so I can change that. So I'm not recording right now. If I record this again, I have to hold record and play. Now it's recording.
I love this small setup. I can do total jams on it and stuff. sequencer Let's turn this down all the way and then I just disable the arm and then I can just press play so that's working and I did test it on my computer there is a firmware update I need to update probably this week when I have time based on what Lucas at 1010 music told me you can update the firmware then you can do punch-ins and stuff like that. So they keep making this product better, which I really like. Anyways, uh, I want to thank everyone at, um, uh, you know, Lucas and everyone in support at 1010 Music for helping me with this. And also the people on Electronauts gave me the tip about getting this flitter cable, which is what solved my issue. Cheers. Wow.